Mr. Damchu, he's the marketing head of the country of Bhutan. Very interesting destination. Can you tell us what people can expect when they visit your country? Because it's not a place that people really might know what to expect when they get there. Yeah, it's, a, it's a very interesting question, you know. Uh, uh, when you, uh, as a visitor, come to our country, we expect a lot of things. But I think of all you expect, you expect happiness, you know, to be relaxed. Uh, but I think we expect in terms of a lot of beautiful culture, whether it's a festival, whether it's a simple Buddhist way of life, or the Himalayas, the mountains, the, the, the fresh air, the environment. So you, you really, uh, on the adventure side, on the culture side, you expect a lot of things. But I think of all, Bhutan is known for, of course, being uh, the pioneer in you know, happiness. So it's, it's, you expect a lot of people being relaxed and happy. And uh, w what is it about your country that enables people to be more relaxed and happy? Is it the weather? Is it the food? Culture? What would you say is uh, there for it's a combination. The it's a combination of a lot of things. I think it's the way we are. Uh, I think we are a, a, a relaxed, uh, happy people. Uh, but of, of course, the other thing is, of course, the commitment from the government. Ever since um, the fourth king of Bhutan initiated the idea of gross national happiness, gross national happiness, the government has been very serious in terms of creating an uh, environment for people to pursue happiness. So, what takes uh, somebody like me to be happy? For me, uh, a very, uh, what do you call it, uh, a family get together, a nice environment. So, we, I'm looking for something like that. So, the government understands this, the factors, the environment, and they create this for people to be happy. So, it's just giving an avenue for people to be happy. And the definition, uh, gross national happiness, uh, could you could you uh, explain for those people that might not have heard of it? It's a concept uh, started uh, uh, prince, uh, coined by the fourth king of Bhutan, Jigmasinghe Ocho. This is where you know we're looking at other countries look at gross national happiness. You know, sorry, gross domestic uh, product. products. Yeah. We are looking at measuring, uh, you know, keeping uh, happiness as the important key element in development. Of Bhutan. So, taking this as the key uh, em uh, element of the development philosophy, we work towards people's happiness, uh, not not in terms of other countries like where we, they look at, you know, uh, profit or the the, uh, the, the products that they, they come up with as the main uh, source of their development policies like that. So, it's a bit different for us. So, we'll, we are looking, keeping in mind the well-being of people uh, in Bhutan. And what can you tell us about the infrastructure of your country? I mean, what kind of uh, hotels, airports, I mean the kind of things that you need to bring travellers to your destination. Um, how, how, what are they like there? Uh, we have quite a good selection of hotels in uh, western and some, some part in central. We actually have a few in the east and south uh, in terms of hotels but they, the, uh, the country is well connected in terms of uh, international air flight from Bangkok, India, uh, Thailand, India, Bangladesh and Nepal. And even within country, within Bhutan, you can travel by air, by road, and we also have no helicopter services. So we are looking at all this infrastructure uh, for tourists to take advantage of uh, when they're in Bhutan. And obviously, you know, people don't necessarily want to go to the uh, Western hotels. They might want to experience something very different. And yes. what kind of different accommodation experiences might you find in? Uh... That's uh, that's uh, this is one of my favorite questions. Again. <laughs> uh, Bhutan, of course, the challenge is having a lot of good. Western, Western hotels, but as you said, there are a lot of uh, people who like to experience uh, local authentic, uh, authentic, authentic experience. And farm stays are one of the things that we are really, uh, you know, working hard uh, because farm stays will give our visitors a very authentic this experience. They'll be able to say, uh, you know, stay with a the farmer. They'll be able to experience the life of a farmer, the, of a British farmer. So that's something that we uh, are working towards in terms of giving a mixed experience of staying in a Western hotel, a Western style hotel, and the other one is a British farm stay. Brilliant. Well, thank you very much for taking time out to uh, to talk to us here, and um, and um, you know we wish you the best of happiness, of course. It's my pleasure to be talking with you. Thank, Th you, very thank much. you very much. Thank Cheers. You.